menopause added 30 extra pounds that Jillian could not undo. The extra weight hammered the arthritis inside her knee to an unbearable level. The doctor said that knee replacement was the only way to be pain-free. But Jillian had spent her whole life as an active woman, skiing, yoga, hiking, everything. And she wanted to find a way to remove the pain without chronic medications or a big surgery. Stick around and find out how she did it. One bright, clear, blue sky day in the winter of 1972, Jillian and her cousins built a ski ramp on their family owned ski resort. A couple of bales of hay and Jill, Jay, Judd, Jana, Jody, and Jimmy spent all morning crafting the perfect jump. Excitement was everywhere as the future Olympic boys ski team coach, Jimmy, went first. He flew down and hit the jump perfectly. They had never seen someone defy gravity and fly so high. Jimmy landed from that massive height with such force that the bindings popped wide open, bounced him out of his skis and sent him tumbling down the hill. The other five teenagers reflexively tightened their bindings so they wouldn't make that same mistake. Next in line was Jillian. Inspired and a little petrified, she took her place at the top of the hill, started down the slope and followed Jimmy's tracks perfectly. Her three second airtime matched Jimmy's as if it were an instant replay. The feeling of that flight has circled through her life's best memories because it was the last time she ever felt it. She caught the edge of her ski on landing and her Titan bindings locked her feet into her skis without release. The torque twisted up through her body and found the weakest spot in her lateral meniscus of her right knee. Torn from the bone, her teenage knee would require surgery the following summer. 40 years later, tears of pain and frustration and disappointment and fear all flood into her doctor's visit. He insists that a knee replacement is just around the corner. Those injections of cortisone going into her knee used to make the arthritis pain go away for about six months. Now they're only lasting a few weeks. Jillian's whole life is one activity after the other. She instructs exercise and golfs and skis and hikes and bikes. And she knows that a knee replacement means giving all of that up. As stubborn as the day that she defied gravity, she pushed away the tears and the surgery and looked for another option. Dr. Google gave her one clear answer that all knee pain was better if you weighed less. Well, that sucked because she tried to lose this 30 pounds of menopausal weight several times. Her last attempt led her back to keto, which she tried in the past and actually gained weight several months later and due for another cortisone shot and Jillian surrendered to trying the keto diet again. But this time she found the Dr. Boz channel and found out that she might not be doing keto exactly as I recommend. In May, 2020, she started and the weight came off. By October, 20 pounds were missing. And you guessed it, her knee pain. So why, why did the pain go away with keto? Let's take a closer look. Jillian's 1972 landing caused a tear in her meniscus of her knee. This tissue is strange. It has no direct blood supply and the cells replenish themselves very, very slowly. Even when you're not old, they're very slow at replacing themselves. In fact, Jillian's torn meniscus repaired only thanks to the sutures that the surgeon put in tying them back together. It left a little scar, which was the perfect growing grounds for her lifetime of arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation without autophagy. Let me unpack that with you. Let's start with inflammation. I'm the first to mess up that inflammation is a negative word, but inflammation actually signals our body to repair. When inflammation works right, enzymes from our white blood cells prompt the fix of an injury. The repair team is bold and precise in how it stimulates the reconstruction of this injury. Once that fix it team is done, they leave behind a bunch of junk, a bunch of debris. Now that there's a bunch of junk around, that's time for the cleanup crew. Autophagy is part of the cleanup crew. Autophagy is a Latin word that means to eat thyself. And as gross as that sounds, it's healthy to have autophagy. The debris left behind inside Jillian's knee 
needs to be vacuumed up and recycled. Autophagy eats up the scattered leftover cellular parts that were there after surgery and that are there after inflammation. But Jillian didn't get arthritis because of inflammation. Jillian got arthritis because of inflammation without autophagy. That's where things went wrong. As Jillian got older, her knee suffered from chronic inflammation. She had this constant pain that worsened whenever she used it. It really never went away. And unlike the healthy inflammation, her signaling enzymes were lazy and they stuck around. They never really swept away and left room for that autophagy team to come in. Because her repair team never left, the cleanup crew never arrived. Years of crusty debris piled up inside Jillian's knee. This is called arthritis, inflammation without autophagy. So how does keto help? Well, keto done right pushes chronic inflammation away. Ketosis, much like that shot of cortisol, liquefies the chronic inflammation. The steroid shots into Jillian's knee removed the swampy enzymes and gone went the pain. Autophagy could come in after that was done and peck away at those little piles of arthritis until those chronic inflammatory enzymes came back. When Jillian strictly followed the rules of ketosis, she repelled inflammation in her knee. With the lowering of her glucose and the rise of her ketones for weeks on end, this allowed the complete reversal of inflammation, which then allowed autophagy to start reversing these piles of arthritis inside her knee. Six months straight of ketosis and autophagy removed much of her arthritis and most of her pain without that medication and without the big surgery. A few months ago, Jillian was teaching a Zumba class and she zigged when she should have zagged and her whole body tensed up expecting that knee pain to wrench through her body. But there was none, zero. If you wanna learn more about autophagy, click here.